Hi everybody, it's M from DIY M. Today is going to be hopefully an interesting video for some people. We're continuing on with the series doing ingredients from scratch for making a bow dessert or cake. It doesn't have to be cake specifically, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So you can use these for any faux dessert that you decide to do in the future if you want to do that sort of thing. You can do this for fake ice cream, you can do this stuff for fake brownies, fake whatever. There's a whole bunch of different fake foods out there and real foods obviously, but we're trying to simulate stuff Stuff that looks like real food. This was an interesting one. So basically I was sharpening things like crayons to look like chocolate shavings. That's basically what this whole video is about. But we also use another method. So this method sort of came to me from another YouTuber. I'm going to link her video down below because she gave quite a few really cool ideas. I think her name is Bruce Bruska Walker. I can't pronounce her name properly, but, but yeah, I'll try to link her, her link down below so you guys can check her out because she's super creative and she's amazing. I sort of took that idea and ran with it in, in a little bit of a different direction. I kind of did something a little bit different. But yeah, I started I started off doing what she was doing and, and realized that I had a different method in mind as well. So, but she's an incredibly creative person. She's actually, from what I can see, she does actual cake decorating as a living, but she does it in such a ingenuitive, as I said, creative way. So she's very, very talented. I definitely highly recommend watching her if you've never come across her. I'm actually surprised that she doesn't have more people following her, but I think it's probably because she goes into such detail with her videos. It's so packed full of creativity that I don't think she consistently goes on YouTube like you're supposed to. You're supposed to do at least one video a week by YouTube standards in order for YouTube to even recognize you and try to push your videos out there or something. That's so why I'm always trying to get people to share the video so that YouTube knows I'm working hard and trying to get my stuff out there. So if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, share the video because it really does help me out a lot. If you don't know much about YouTube, you probably think that I'm just being annoying or something by saying this stuff, but I really do feel like it does help. Before I joined YouTube, I just never, never realized how important sharing videos are and, and subscribing and all that sort of stuff. So I really, really do appreciate every single person who subscribes and shares and likes my videos and even comments and stuff like that. So yeah, it really helps me out a lot. So thank you to those who are already doing that sort of stuff. I think you guys are being amazing. So anyways, I don't want this video to be longer than it already has to be. So I just figure I might as well show you what I did. So on to the DIY. Okay, so it's kind of a rainy day and I didn't really have much to do so I figured I might as well do this. My husband's playing games with a friend of his. So what I decided to do was make fake chocolate shavings. So I ended up getting on Amazon like a whole pack of white crayons and a whole pack of brown crayons and 12 in a pack. And then there's also these really large crayons, which I don't think is gonna fit in here. But what I wanted to try is also, this is a, a brown glue stick. So I wanted to see if this would work too. You never know. And so I have a few jars here that hopefully I can put these chocolate shavings in. I do have like another sharpener that for some reason I can't find. It has like two different size holes, so like a bigger and a smaller one. I'm just hoping that this is going to be big enough for stuff like this. Let's see. Just going to, actually I'm going to take this off. Just going to see how well this works. And this looks actually quite transparent, so I don't know if this is going to work tremendously well for what I want. Yeah, that doesn't exactly look like chocolate to me. It's kind of cool. So anyways, the glue stick doesn't exactly work, but it looks like it holds up pretty well. It doesn't crumble as easily as I'm sure this crayon will. So let's just check out the crayons. Obviously I need to take the paper off. I'm gonna try the white first, actually. I'm gonna put in this jar here. Okay, and then I'm just going to take off this paper. Oh no, let's get another one. <laughs> to deal with breaking crayons all the time. Oh, this is not easy to take off, these particular pieces of the paper. They're really glued on here. So, I mean, if they don't work, I can always use these white and brown crayons for other things, I'm sure, like give them to the kids to play with or use them for resists or whatever. There's, you know, so much you can do with crayons. Do some really interesting artwork with melting action. I don't know, there's lots of stuff you can sort of do, right? Pinterest is a wonderful sort of resource for ideas on what to do with stuff like this. White's always great for like highlighting things and portraits or whatever if you're doing portraits with like, you know, mixed media. I wish this was a little bit easier to 
take off. I'm just gonna turn off the camera first, just a second. Okay, so we got this. So the white paper kind of took forever to come off this crayon. The brown was a lot easier to take off for some reason. I don't know why. Same brand, so I don't know. Anyways, so I'm just gonna focus on the white. And let's just try to let's see if any curls come out of it. So it might look like a white chocolate. It might look too white, actually, because I think white chocolate looks a little more cream colored. I'm not really seeing any swirling action here. It just looks like flakes. Yeah, it seems to break a lot easier than this guy. This is like the glue stick earlier. So the curls happen pretty easily. And I think they hold up pretty easily too with the glue sticks, but they're quite transparent. Unless you can get a glue stick that's not very transparent like that, that might work for you as well. And hopefully you're not gonna be heating up something when you put it in it. Let's see if I get any curls out of this problem. This might be kind of good if I need some white crumbly faux chocolate flakes for anything. I wonder if it's going to do the same thing with the brown. I guess we'll soon see. See if it looks more like actual chocolate. I hate doing this to my husband's pencil sharpener. <laughs> I was trying to find my own. I had like, like a couple openings at least. So I could have done probably like the thicker crayons, which probably would work really well, I assume. Oh, 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 oh. That one's looking like kind of like what I was hoping for. Oh no, did that just break off in there? That's not good. I'm just gonna get a little pokey tool. And these little pokey tools that I got on Amazon a while ago. Let's see if this side does anything. Okay, whatever. I think I'm pretty much done with the white here. I might make some more later, but you guys kind of get the idea. So that's not what I was hoping for with the white. Maybe the brown will turn up better. Who knows? Yeah, so this is the brown. Oh, this looks like shavings anyways. Some chocolate shavings. Not the curly ones though that I was hoping for. Not so great. This kind of tool might help a little bit with scraping some of the stuff off. I might have to clean this out properly before I give this back to my husband. Well, it's not doing the curly thing quite yet. Let's we'll see if it does throughout it at all. Oh, that really came off, didn't it? Some of these are not fun to sharpen. This is a really messy DIY here. Oh, 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 oh! Nice. I got a few big shavings. Sweet. Oh, that looks cool. That looks like chocolate. There we go, some nice cool shavings here. Look a little more like chocolate. Like chocolate. Nice. I kinda wish they curled a lot more though. Well, you kinda get the gist of it, and that actually looks pretty well with the brown, I find. Alright, so that actually looks more like chocolate to me. And that can be sprinkled really nicely on top of a cake or cupcake or something that's fake. Okay, so we've got two different types of chocolate shavings. I think if this was more of an off-white, that would look a little more like white chocolate. And then this looks a lot like regular chocolate, I think. And this is just the Crayola Brown, just regular Crayola. And I'll try to link the products down below in case you guys are interested in getting this sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so I'm just putting it in some jars. You can do whatever you want. Any kind of container you want, well, it should work. So yeah, there you go. We've got like, a couple different types of chocolate here. Okay. So I'm gonna try on a different surface. I'm on my dream box work table surface right now. I was originally on my counter because I had no space for a while, so I just finally was able to organize things. Woohoo! I also bought a new sharpener because I cannot find for the life of me my other one that I had. But this one has like a nice regular sharpener and then there's one for like larger pencils. So I'm gonna test that out and see if that does anything. But I got some new jars too, so so I don't have to like have such giant jars for everything. Okay, I'll show you the plain jars here. They're just clear like this, which is nice. And then, yeah, so you can see the sort of white crayon here. And if you want to, you can crumble it up and probably make more of like a coconut shaving sort of thing. I actually just recently saw a video from the pink tree, I think she's called. And she basically made shavings of coconut with like a white candle and a cheese grater. I mean, you can get sort of a 
similar effect obviously with this white crayon. These are great like chocolate shavings and they look really chocolatey to me, which is amazing. And this also looks just great because it, it looks like it sort of holds its shape, this glue stick. And the problem is, is it's very see-through. But yeah, if I paint it up, maybe it won't be so bad. Also got, I'm just gonna show you guys this real quick. So yeah, so obviously I got like a big pack of these things. You don't have to get a big pack if you wanna go to your local art store or craft store or something like that. You might be able to find something similar to this. But I got this from Amazon, so I'm gonna link that hopefully down below. One thing that I find that might be a factor and a problem with doing the crayon method, as awesome as it looks, like it looks very chocolatey and stuff like that, I think, anyways, is it could melt. It could, when you add water to it, like I say, if somebody touched it, if you add water to it, it might crumble. So what you want to do most likely in that regard, you would probably want to spray some sort of varnish on it, whether it's a satin or a, if you want it really glossy, you can do a, like a gloss or a high gloss varnish. Matte might work too, but I find that most of the time chocolate, to make it look more realistic, it's going to have either a satin finish or a really glossy finish, depending. I would say satin finish is kind of like the nicest one. Yeah, you might want to try something like that. I want to sort of like have a little spot to put these guys and yeah this this will fit in the small hole of this really easily so I'm actually really disappointed I thought these would be bigger holes like there are sharpeners you can get quite large different variations of their sharpening holes this guy obviously doesn't fit maybe you can find one with a, an even larger hole I'm not too sure it's up to you if you want to sort of try this method out maybe try to get giant chocolate shavings and swirls but so let's just keep going with this because this method works pretty well I feel it's just again it's very transparent but if you paint it up and you maybe cut it a little bit it might actually look quite nice it sort of sharpens quite well in the smaller hole of these sharpeners it looks like it keeps going for quite a while so and it doesn't lose its shape because it's very plasticky from what I can see here it just keeps going okay oops there you go so anyways we'll stick a bunch of those in there and again you can always just take like a acrylic paint paint those up and then maybe cut them to your design length or something maybe before that you can cut it it's clingy it's a very staticky day <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this staticky because it's summer. It's super strange. Maybe it's just very dry in my place. I find it very staticky when it's winter time. But yeah, so I'm gonna basically just make like another little jar here for these kind of swirls. Okay, so I have these transparent chocolate shavings that I made with the glue sticks and the sharpener. I think they're really, they look really good. They hold up pretty well, but I do want them to be less transparent. So what I have here is burnt umber. And you can get this burnt umber in any brand and whatever you want. I got to Liquitex Basics Acrylic. Basics is normally like a student grade, so it's not like artist quality or anything, but it's good for crafting and that sort of thing. And honestly, it looks kind of very, very much like chocolate. Like it has that kind of look to it. So I have different types of brushes. I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes in general, but it might work for something like this. As long as like, the brush is kind of flat-ish or has like even a chisel tip, it should be fine. I'm gonna try the chisel tip because it's a little bit smaller, but let's try, try to paint one up and see how that goes. I might even cut them down in advance. Look at them all. They're so cute. I love them. Some of them may or may not need to be cut. This one looks like it's a pretty long one, so maybe I'll just rip that. So I have some parchment paper down here. It could be wax paper if that's what you want to use as well. Let's try just like this little guy here. And you might have to go over it a couple times or even on the other side once you let this dry just because it's quite transparent as well. But it definitely gives a lot more color than these glue sticks did. Stuff like this, it looks like it's about to rip anyway, so I'm just going to rip this. Or you can cut it, it doesn't have to be ripped. But yeah, hopefully this sort of thing will sort of keep its shape. So this might be kind of a finicky project if you guys don't feel like doing this sort of thing. I totally get it. Maybe you'll find some glue sticks that are not as transparent as the ones that I found. Yeah, I was just, I was shocked for some reason that they are so transparent. But yeah, it's interesting because it kind of curls back up on itself, which is great. So I might end up painting the other side pretty well. 
Okay, let's paint a bigger one. It is hard because it just automatically wants to like roll up again, but I think that's a good thing because you want it to look like curled shavings, right? Acrylic is like a rubbery consistency when it dries, so we'll see how hard it is to paint a second coat or if we're gonna have to paint on the other side. But right now it doesn't look too chocolatey just because this paint looks very transparent so far. But again, if you do a couple coats, it might look much better. Anyways, you guys kind of get the picture, so I'm gonna just paint up the rest of this and show you the next step. I painted both sides of these things. They're still a little transparent, but I'm going to do just like another layer. Just wanted to show you where I was at with this sort of thing. Let them dry for a little bit. So yeah, I think they're pretty dry at this point in time. So you can do either the outside, inside, doesn't really matter. Again, you know, as long as, as you're basically just making it less transparent as you go. But it's starting to look more like chocolate. It's just kind of hard to get the, the opaqueness because like that's what you want. You want the chocolate to look more opaque than this. But it's nice because I'm still doing thin layers so it's still allowing me to open it up. It's still curling up nicely which is great. You want it to still be a little curly. This was the original. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So this, this guy here that's the original transparent chocolatey color and then I think it looks so much better now but obviously it's not fully ready to top a fake cake with or a cupcake or whatever you decide to, to put it on and so I'm gonna like just do the rest I'll flip them over and do the other side so hopefully it won't be as transparent and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end so I just did about I think it was like four or five coats on the underside and the over top I basically did like four or five coats all together maybe even six depending on how transparent the pieces looked because some of them look more transparent than others depending on how much paint I put on if I just gobbed the paint on obviously it didn't look as transparent right but I tried to do thin coats mostly because I know this sounds like a tedious project because you have to do so many coats but I think it looks really really good in the end and it looks like a nice shiny chocolate which is really really cool so I'm gonna let this dry and then put it back in the jar and yeah this is pretty much the project so if you like the look of these guys I suggest going the mile and doing everything I was just showing you in the video and maybe putting this on a fake cake or something like that would look really cool. I think it would look, it would sort of class up something and I think these are going to last quite a while too because they're kind of rubbery and they look really really cool I think. I think they look like real chocolate pretty much. So yeah this is our sprinkles so I've got a couple here that either have like nothing on it or like this one here has absolutely nothing on it. I showed you guys earlier the difference. This is like I think one coat of paint or something. But yeah, these two are pretty much the same. Yeah, these guys have at least five or six coats on it, depending. So they're not so transparent. There is some transparencies and stuff here and there, which hopefully you guys can see on the camera. But I don't think it's that bad, honestly. Especially if you're gonna have this on like a, a chocolate type of cake, it's probably gonna not, not gonna be all that noticeable when it's submerged in the icing. But yeah, this looks really good. It's pretty stable. I can just drop it because it's kind of rubbery because of the acrylic. Because there's so many coats, it's also very sturdy. So this would hopefully Fully last on top of a cake or a fake cake for a long period of time. Okay, so basically that's that. But yeah, I think that looks really, really cute. It's nice and curled and it curls up really easily if you just put thin layers on because it's already plasticky because of the glue. I think it looks really, really great. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed that project. So yeah, that's what happened in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it seems like such a simple thing and I always show you the trials and errors and stuff that I do because to be honest with you, I cut out a lot of stuff. Like it takes way longer than these videos. I know some of the videos seem long, but like we're talking like I whittle things down from like well over an hour of content to 20 something minutes if anything and a lot of stuff gets cut out so I try to show you the most important stuff and again the stuff that I struggle with because honestly I think that everyone does struggle with doing art or DIYs or whatever and I think it's really important to show that sort of stuff anyways so I do think that the brown looks a lot like chocolate and I think that looks really, really good. The white, obviously like if you grind it up even more, probably it'll look more like coconut flakes. But if you can find almost like a cream color with like a yellowy tone to it, which honestly is super hard to find, especially in like a big, pack of crayons. All the power to you if you can find that sort of thing because you can make some really cool white chocolate 
with that sort of method, I think. But again, another thing you could do is what I did with the glue stick shavings. And you can even you can use like a yellowy color, I guess. So it'll probably turn out transparent just like this did. And then you just paint it with a creamier color of paint, like acrylic paint, just the same way I did with this chocolate one, right? Yeah, so that's the shavings there. I think they turned out really good. And honestly, if you're not melting something, like you're not hot gluing them to something, I think those shavings turn out really well. So what I'm gonna end up doing when I do the cake, I think a lot of people that do faux food actually do this. Basically, you take some spackle, and I'm going to show you this in the making of this fake cake anyways. And you can do this with ice cream and stuff like that too, like fake ice cream. But basically, you take spackle and you just mix paint with it to make whatever color you want. Just a hot tip that basically I'd be using that so it wouldn't be something that heats up, hopefully, as it's drying, right? I'm, I'm sure there are some speckles out there that do that sort of thing, but I'm just saying that if I put these sort of sprinkles, like these sort of curly chocolate flakes in the spackle, it should sit in there. You might be able to press it in there and everything like that if you need to like let it stick a little bit better, but it should be like an adhesive. Then you just let it dry and it should be on there, right? So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that hopefully in another video, obviously, but just wanted to tell you what I was thinking of doing for videos to come. But yes, expect some more different other DIYs that I'm planning on doing, like toppings that you can easily do and you're gonna see the trial and error. But again, I wanna show you guys that stuff so I can show you you're not alone when you're trying something for the very first time because I am actually trying these things for the very very first time. I might know certain things based on previous experience with certain art but this is all brand new fresh stuff for me so I just want to show you guys my perspective from a very first timer kind of point of view and hope that you guys take something away from it. Okay so I hope to see you guys in the next video and I hope you liked and subscribed and hopefully you share the content because I really like hearing from you guys and I really really hope that you show more people what I'm doing because I think it's a lot of fun and I really hope everybody else has a lot of fun following along. So anyways guys I hope that was really helpful for you guys and I hope you actually try it and enjoy what you're doing. So that's this video. Take care guys. Bye. Have a good one.